Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can use an Azure Service Bus Trigger to trigger your Azure function. Uh, some of you may be thinking like, oh, why would this be uh, handy to have? No. For example, maybe you have like a, a busy web app that does a lot of stuff, you know, a lot of performance, etc. And uh, you have some process that doesn't really, uh, the user not really waiting on the results of the process. Uh, maybe, uh, for example, uh, the user wants wants to unsubscribe. Okay, he, he just gave you the sign he wants to unsubscribe. He does not really want to wait like an hour or 10 minutes to get the result on, okay, guy, you're unsubscribed. In this case, it would be handy to have like a serverless function that just runs the process, again, that gets triggered by like a queue, an event queue, and then just runs the process, finishes, uh, finishes the work, and that's it. Uh, the nice benefit you have, of course, you have the, still you have the, all the logins, uh, so that's that, and it's uh, serverless. Well, let's go to the port of Azure. Today I'm using Edge because I uh, saw some, uh, some problems when I was using uh, Grow for, uh, in Azure Functions, but uh, that's that. First of all, we're going to start with creating a service bus. Um, yeah, a service bus actually just uh, an event bus, but just in the cloud but it has some nice extra benefits so if you have the time uh, look at it they have some nice extra benefits for example uh, yeah some more benefits than like uh, a rabbit mq or stuff like that well we call it call it uh, east usa i'm gonna choose just basic you can see here the whole uh, pricing details well next review well that takes a little bit longer <laughs> yeah okay it's validated uh, well that's creating i'm already going to create my azure functions app i'm not going to create the function itself because for that we need to wait but i can create the azure functions app .NET. Uh, let's check this out. So, you know, this just can be the same. Cons uh, yeah, consummation serverless. Okay, review and create. No, that's also creating. Mm, our service is ready, so we can go and create the main queue. Actually, I'm also gonna call it main queue. So that's funny. Oh, you see, you have a lot of uh, uh, yeah options here, alerts, metrics, uh, all the nice things you get when you are using an event bus in Azure. You can set the main queue size on one. Uh, this can all be the same as the time to live. You can also lock it, so that will prevent that uh, you can like like say okay, if the same host sends a message twice. In the, in the same message twice in 30 seconds, we can uh, uh, maybe uh, conclude that this was a duplicate and it will, uh, yeah, it will uh, delete it. Yeah, it's created, main. Um, let's go to our Azure Functions. Let's create a new function. Well, when I was using Grow, uh, really strange. Uh, I clicked on um, on this one, but it did not give any result. It was like a visual bug, but yeah, <laughs> could not fix it. Uh, so yeah. Well, let's edit. Oh, oops. Let's create a new connection. It already already sees that we have one service bus in our environment. I'm going to change this name by main. Q name. So that's the queue, uh, name of the queue we just created. We refresh. This will work. Well, next thing is uh, here's our code. For now it's just one example line. It logs the message to uh, uh, to the console. 
gonna leave it as that. We can test it. And as you see, we gave the message uh, service bus. And hopefully, we're gonna see it. I'm gonna expand this a little bit. No, run it again. And you see, this is service bus. But there's also another way uh, we can test it. For that, I'm gonna open a new window. I'm gonna go again to Azure, go to service bus. We go to our queues, our main. We go to Service Bus Explorer. It's a little bit slow today, but yeah. Um, here we also can paste in like a message, like "Hello World," something like that, and we can send it. And if we go here to the service queue. I think in a moment we will see the message. Let's see if it's still in the queue. No, so somebody already read the message. Or else we would have like one. So if we go back. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> mm. Okay, refresh it. Let's try it one more time. Oh, message is sent. Yes, as you see, the second message is also read, and the fir first message was also read. So it was only due to the login, it was not showing. But just to be clear, um, here you see all the messages that are in still in the queue. So if that says null, it means that a message is read. So it can also give you a sign that it's working. Well, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And follow my upcoming videos on Azure Functions. Have a nice day.